in this lesson i am going to start from question number 2 of exercise 14c of d to 7th edition and question number 2 is it is given that a is 1 2 3 4 7 and and b is a set that has got the elements 2 4 8 10 so basically they have asked us to do two things the part one is to find a intersection b and the part two is to draw a venn diagram to represent the sets a and b no for part one that is a intersection b list all the elements in a intersection b in set notation so as you know a intersection b means a set that contains all those elements which are common to both a and b like 2 is present in a as well as in b and 4 is present in a as well as in b so the set of common elements will be the answer for a intersection b while part 2 is to draw venn diagram so simply draw two circles one for a one for b they must be overlapping because this overlapping part is representing the intersection part so in this overlapping part you are going to write these two elements 2 and 4 so 2 and 4 will be written in this overlapping part now from a 2 and 4 they are written over here the rest of the elements 1 3 and 7 will be written in this section and what about the circle of b the common elements are written here in this overlapping part 2 and 4 from b are written over here while rest 8 and 10 they will be written in this part this is the venn diagram for this part question number 3 is it is given that we have been given a set d and that is a set of colors blue green yellow orange red pink and a set c that is also a set of colors blue yellow pink purple black part 1 is list all the elements in c intersection d in set notation you are going to write those elements those colors which are present in both the sets C and D, blue and blue, present in both C and D. That will be the result. That will be the element of intersection of C and D. Then we have got yellow and yellow, this one, and then we have got pink, that is present in both C and D. So this is the result. This is the set. This is the set containing the elements of intersection of C and D. Next one is to represent it. Part two says draw a Venn diagram to represent the sets C and D. So draw two circles, the overlapping section of these two circles will include the elements which are common, which are present in both C and D. This part is this part is basically the part of C as well as the part of D. So here you are going to write these elements which are common elements. The rest of the elements of C will be written here. like from set c blue yellow and pink are written over here from set c blue yellow and pink are written over here the rest two purple and black will be written in this section while the same will be applied to d the common elements from d like blue yellow and pink written over here the rest one will be written in this section for d this is answer for question number 2 and 3 exercise 14c so in question number 4 of exercise 14c they have given us that uh, we have a got a universal set that is from 1 to 9 1 to 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we are going to draw venn diagrams to illustrate the following sets these sets from a to e we need to illustrate them using venn diagram and in each case we are going to find a union b so part a is we have got a set a and a set b where set a has the elements 1 2 3 4 and set b has the elements 3 5 7 9 the first of all i have written a universal set over here this one that has the elements from 1 to 9 all of them now for part a in order to draw its venn diagram draw a rectangle which represents universal set 
then draw two circles this circle represents a this circle represents the subset b now first of all we are going to fill the overlapping section overlapping part and this part contains the elements which are present both in a and b so you have to see for the elements that are part of both a and b so 3 is present in a as well as in b so 3 will be placed over here because this section belongs to both a and b after that the rest of the elements of a which are 1 2 and 4 they will be written over here in the section that only belongs to a and rest of the elements of b 3 5 7 will be written over here in the section that only belongs to b now these two elements 6 and 8 are written outside the circles of a and b because this rectangle which represents a universal set it must contain all these elements so if you will count 1 2 3 4 5 7 9 so we are missing two elements from the universal set that is 6 and 8 so 6 and 8 if they are not part of these circles just write them down or outside these circles but within the rectangle in order to complete the elements of universal set though all these elements they are part of universal set and all these elements are basically these ones so the missing elements from those elements which are not part of a and b and they are part of universal set now they will be written outside these circles and last one is to find a union b now a union b mean all the elements that belongs to a or that belongs to b so we are going to write all the elements of a and b over here irrespective of the fact whether they are common or not we need to write all the elements of a and b so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 7 9 uh, we are not going to write 3 twice so this is the answer for a union b and that is different from intersection because in intersection we just write this only common elements the next part is b and that is a set a having the elements 1 3 5 7 9 and a set b 2 4 6 8 okay so we need to draw a venn diagram then we need to find a union b draw a rectangle this rectangle represents universal set draw a circle for a a circle for b write down the elements which are common in a and b in this part but in this case these sets are disjoint sets that are the sets that doesn't have any element in common if you will observe set a is a set of odd numbers set b is a set of even numbers so we don't have anything in common that's why this section is empty so elements of a will be written over here one 3 5 7 9 1 3 5 7 9 and elements of b will be written over here 2 4 6 8 2 4 6 8 okay now this outer part is empty because all the elements of universal set 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 they are either in a or in b 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we need not to have any other element outside because all the elements are in a or in b what is the answer for a union b a union b is all the elements of a and all the elements of b so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 will be the answer for a union b you are combining the elements of a and b uh, in this part okay and i have arranged that in order and let's answer for c what is c c is uh, a set a having elements 4 8 and a set b having elements 2 4 6 8 okay we need to draw universal we of a event diagram and we need to find a union b so draw a rectangle this rectangle represents universal set draw two circles we have got two sets a and b so the number of sets will be representing number of circles we have two sets so we have two circles over here and because they are overlapping over here and in the overlapping part we need to enter those elements which are part of a as well as of b so 4 and 8 these two elements are present in a as well as in b you can see 4 and 8 present in a present in b so they are written over here the rest of the elements of a okay we don't have go, we don't got any other element of a we in a we have only 4 and 8 so we are not going to enter any, any element over here because a has only got these two 
so they are written over here what about b after putting 4 8 in the overlapping part that belongs to a as well as to b the rest of the elements in b are 2 and 6 you can see over here 4 and 8 are written over here the rest of the elements in b are 2 and 6 they are written in this part now what about these elements now after filling your circles a and b you just need to see the universal set now from the universal set 4 then 8 then 2 and then 6 now they are present in the circles the rest of the elements 1 3 5 7 9 they are missing the, uh, and, and this rectangle should contain all these elements either in circles either outside the circles so after filling the circles whatever is left from the universal set you have to write it outside the circles so 1 3 5 7 9 will be written outside the circles what about a union b a union b mean you are going to combine the elements of a and b you are going to write all the elements of a and b in one set so 2 4 6 8 will be written uh, so this is the answer for a union b what about set d so in, 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 in part d we have got a set a which is multiples of 3 and the set b that is prime numbers so first of all write down the set a multiples of 3 3 6 9 from the universal set we have got multiples of 3 over here from the universal set we have got prime numbers which is basically set b set b contains prime numbers so if take out prime numbers from the universal set 2 3 5 7 they are prime they have only two factors okay now draw a venn diagram for that draw a rectangle that is represented by this symbol and this is uh, rectangle represents universal set then draw two circles because we have got two sets a and b and in order to represent these two sets which are subset of this universal set in order to represent these two sets we need to draw two circles and in the overlapping part you are going to write the number you are going to write the element which is part of a and and of b as well so 3 is part of a 3 is part of b that should be written over here now after writing the common elements in this part see what is left in a 6 and 9 they are left behind so write it over here and 2 5 7 are left behind in b so write them over here after filling the circles you need to see is uh, sorry are all the elements of universal set are the part of circle no we have got some elements which are not present in the circles but they are part of universal set so those elements which are not present in circles but they are part of universal set they must be written outside the circle so 1 and 4 which are not part of these no? these circles so they must be present in this rectangle this rectangle must contain all these elements all these elements so whatever is not present in the circles but it is present in the universal set you have to write it outside the circles so 1 and 4 will be written outside the circles what about a union b now a union b means you have to write all the elements of a as well as of b as well as this common one so 2 3 5 6 7 9 2 3 5 6 7 9 all the elements of a and b will be written over here the next one is part e we have got a set a that is multiples of 4 and a set b that is multiples of 2 okay where is a multiples of 4 from the universal set and b multiples of 2 from the universal set will be written now draw a rectangle this rectangle represents universal set inside the rectangle draw two circles because we have got two subsets a and b for the universal set so we need to draw two circles this part which is overlapping part for a and b this part contains which elements this part contain common elements common elements mean the elements which are part of a as well as of b so write common elements over here after writing the common elements is any, is any element left behind in a no we don't have any element left behind in a after filling the common part so a will be empty rest of the a will be empty this is also a but this is only a this part belongs to a as well as to b what about the circle of b after writing the common elements in the common part 2 and 6 which are not basically uh, which, which which is not a common one so 2 and 6 will be written only in the part that belongs only to b after filling the circles you need to see whether all the elements of universal set are written no after filling the circles whatever is left in the universal set that means 2 4 6 8 they are written now the some elements are still 
present in the universal set but they are not part of the circles so those elements will be written outside the circles 1 3 5 7 in order to complete the Venn diagram so this is the solution for question number 4 and in my next lesson I will continue from question number 5 onwards thank you so much